everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2019 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 10. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 10. Okay, this over here is question 10 and this question is stressing us on ratio cross multiplication and solving equations. Let's read the question for part A first. At first, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a chess club was 4 is to 1. After 6 boys and 6 girls joined the club, the ratio became 3 is to 1. Part A. Did the percentage of the members who are boys increase, decrease or remain the same? Show your working clearly. Okay, so let me highlight the key information. So at first, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a chess club was 4 is to 1. After 6 boys and 6 girls joined the club, the ratio became 3 is to 1. Okay. Did the percentage of the members who are boys increase, decrease or remain the same? Okay. So now let's write down the ratio. So boys is to girls is 4 is to 1 at first, right? So 4 units is to 1 unit. After that, there were 6 boys and 6 girls joining. Okay. After that, it became 3 is to 1 units. 3 is to 1 parts. Okay. 3 parts is to 1 parts. So basically, this column over here is one equation, okay? So basically, 4 units plus 6 is equal to 3 parts. And 1 unit plus 6 is 1 part. So I'm going to make this 1 unit plus 6 and this 4 unit plus 6 equals to 3 parts and equals to 1 part the same. So I, I must use cross multiplication to both sides. So basically it means that 4 unit plus 6 times 1 part and 1 unit plus 6 times 3 parts. Okay? So this is what happens. Okay? Times and then 4 units plus 6. So it makes a times here. Okay? So this is cross multiplication. So I'll get 4 units plus 6 times 1 part is equal to 4 units plus 6. Okay? So this is what happens after I times 1 part. Then 1 unit plus 6 times 3 parts, which will give us 3 units plus 18. So this is basically like this. So this 3, right, I times by 1 and times by, and this 6 times 3. So 6 times 1 and 4 times 1. So this is what happens. Okay? So after this, I can write down this equation. 4 units plus 6 is equal to 3 units plus 18. So I'm going to bring these 3 units to this side. Of the equal sign. So this three units originally has a plus in front, although we do not write it down. So when we bring it to the other side of the equal sign, it will give us a minus. So four units minus three units. And this six, I'll bring it to this side as a plus sign. And when I bring it to the other side of the equal sign, it will give us a minus sign. So 18 minus six. So one unit is equal to 12. After that, they have asked us for part A. The, the number of boys increase, decrease, or remain the same. So I'm going to find the number of boys at first, which is 4 units. So 4 units is equal to 12 times 4, which is 48. Okay? After that, I'm going to find the number of boys in the total so that I can find the percentage. Right? So 1 unit plus 4 units is 5 units. Then I find 5 units, which is 12 times 5, which is 60. So I'm going to put 48 over 60 times 100%. Okay, so this is the percentage of boys at first, so you give us 80%. After that, I'm going to find the percentage of the boys in the end, which is basically 48 plus 6, okay, over 48 plus 6, over, divide by 60 plus 6 plus 6, okay, 48 plus 6 over 60 plus 6 plus 6 times 100%, because I'm adding 6 and 6 because there's boys and girls, there's adding 2 6, okay. So it's basically 52 over 72 times 100%, which is 75%. Okay, I'm going to take 80% minus 75% because then I'll give I'll get 5%. So that is why the percentage of the boys at first is more than the percentage of the boys in the end. Because I'm taking at first minus the end, it will give me a certain whole number percent. So we know that 75% is lesser than 80%. That is why the percentage of the boys decrease and this is the answer for part a now for part b they are asking us in the end how many boys were there in the club okay this is really easy 
So for part B, we just need to take number of boys in the end, it is 48 plus 6. Because we know the number of boys at the start, which is 48, right? So 48 plus 6 over here. So it will give us 54 as the answer for part B. Okay? So we have solved this question, question 10. Okay? And I hope you understood my explanation for this question. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!